Hey everybody, what is happening? It's Rob. Uh, for those of you who are checking in to see if this video is a beard watch, 2017 continued. It is continuing. The beard is uh, is still growing. But I just had a couple of thoughts and I wanted to share. Hey, Corey's home. Hey, Corey. Bringing home the toilet paper and the uh, paper towels. Woo! All right, so that's not what this video is about though. So. Uh, today was an interesting day, uh, and it didn't just occur to me until right now, and I wanted to share it with all of you guys. So, uh, this is my thought. Today is the 22nd of August, which means that we have been in Los Angeles for 10 months today. It's crazy the way time flies. You don't, you don't really think about how, like, it, you're just living life. And I think I've told people before that like uh, life comes at you just the same. It's just work and bills and continuing on and doing the thing. Rachel said the same exact thing on the way to Moss Mallow. Did you what just have, do you have to drop her off at Moss Mallow? Yeah. Yeah. Only uh, she said nine months, not ten. Because, well, math, not really Rachel's strong point. Hope Rachel's watching. Hi, Rachel. <laughs> uh, but today, for the first time, this house felt like home. And I want to tell you why. It's not something you would think because I don't want you guys to get the idea that this house isn't like home-like. I mean, look at this place. Rachel and Corey have done a great job making this house feel like a home. We've got decorations on the wall. It looks lived in. I mean, you, we've been here for 10 months and you can absolutely tell, but I don't, it's not really like my apartments. For anybody who's ever been to one of my apartments, I mean, stuff on the walls doesn't make it like home because I never have stuff on the walls. And like knickknacks and stuff, none of that makes it feel like home. So I have to ask myself, maybe you're asking yourself, what is it about today that Rob found that made him feel like home? Well, I'll answer. It's very simple. I walked in, I said, hey, maybe I'll grab myself a snack. And then I saw this. There is literally nothing in our fridge right now. We have a bunch of condiments, plenty of those. I got some pickles, uh, some sweet baby rays here. Um, a cucumber that is easily two months past being good. I mean, that, that's almost a pickle in itself right now. Uh, some soda, some tea, uh, a little bit of cake from Rachel's birthday, and more condiments, nothing. So I'm like, oh, well, you know what? I'm a grown ass man. I can fix something, that's fine. But we're looking a little sparse up here too. Like I got some chicken and stuff, but nothing, like it's all frozen meal. It's not even like preppable stuff. So if anybody, so if anybody knows me, what they know is that this is how I'm used to living. I just basically go from one short run to the grocery store at a time. I'm just gonna run out, I'm gonna grab enough for like three or four meals, put it in there, and then after those meals run out, two, three days later, then I'll go to the store again. So I'm, I'm used to having an empty fridge, but, but Rachel and Corey, they can't live like that. They don't know about that life. I think I've said maybe a thousand times since we moved in here that I was gonna teach these two about living broke life. Wait, wait, go ahead, go ahead, Corey. I, I know what it's like, all right? I know what it's like. I'm not the... I keep telling them, I, like I said, about a thousand times, I was going to teach them about living that broke life. And we are there, folks. They are living the broke life now. The fridge is empty. We got no time to go shopping. Uh, I went to, wanted to go to bed at like 7 o'clock last night because I'm 33 and I feel like I'm 50 and I just want to go to bed all the time. Uh, I think I told Flash this morning that I woke up ready for a nap this morning. That's where I'm at. But now we have an empty fridge and uh, we're, we're living the life. I am now comfortable. This is now my home. And I just wanted to share that with all of you. On top of the fact that realizing in that moment that it took 10 months for me to get here. And of course it took having an empty fridge, which is probably weird for most of you. But um, that's just, that's how I operate. That's, that's my life. So, um, to happy 10 month anniversary to us. Uh, for those of you who saw us off in uh, November, I'm sure you are gonna have a hard time believing it's been 10 months since we left. Uh, but, you know, today was another beautiful Los Angeles day. I can't complain. Uh, we are locked in here for another 12 months, well, 11 months uh, after this month. So we are uh, at least gonna be here for the next year. And I don't know uh, how I'm gonna be, uh, how I'm gonna be feeling at the end of that year. That'll be July 2018 that we're in this apartment until. So, 
Hopefully I'll have a few more moments where I can uh, feel at home. Um, hopefully I can stress this living broke life thing to uh, Rachel and Corey a little bit more. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to make them functional adults. Uh, so we'll see how that works out. Um, Wait, Flash commenting below, uh, not living that broke life unless you get excited about your favorite flavor of ramen. Now, I, I have lived that level of broke life before, but now, I try to do Atkins, right? So it's not so much the ramen, because that's a lot of carbs. I can't really do that. So instead, I just like eat a lot of pickles and like some peanut butter, maybe, uh, or like uh, chicken. Uh, but chicken's expensive, so it doesn't really fit in the broke life. Uh, I could eat the, like the ramen seasoning. I just couldn't have the noodles. Maybe that's what I'll do. But. Um, so yeah, so uh, I just want to share that with you guys. I hope that uh, everybody is uh, doing well. Um, I didn't put up, put up my I did not put up my eclipse picture, but uh, Corey and I did go out and see the eclipse. Corey, just catch everybody up. How are you feeling about the eclipse? <sighs> okay, the problem is Corey looked at it at, directly at the sun without the glasses. Um, he said, "If it's good enough for the president, it's good enough for him." I didn't really understand it. Uh, I felt uh, the the glasses were very important, so uh, we put on glasses. Did you throw those away today, by the way? Yes. Oh, and he tossed them in the garbage. Yeah. Memories, sweet memories, just thrown away. Like if I don't see, if I don't have the eclipse glasses lying around, I'm not gonna remember about the time the eclipse happened. Hey, that, that's how it works, right? <laughs> um, but anyway, uh, so I hope everybody enjoyed the eclipse yesterday, um, and uh, we'll probably be talking about that this week on the podcast. Not to plug the podcast in every single live video I did, but hey, you know what else is good for a Tuesday? The new episode of the podcast is up, Bannon Out, episode 176, with special guest star Roberto. Make sure you go check that out at ottheanthem.com. Or you can find youtube.com forward slash uh, Or you can check it out at facebook.com forward slash uh, So do that. Please go support all the stuff that I do because uh, we take a lot of time to do it. Uh, Terry, thank you, but I'll be okay without those glasses. I don't make a habit of looking at the sun, and that's really all they're good for. Kenny, I'm sure that you looked at uh, them without the glasses. That just everything about you tells me that you, you, I mean, you do it every day. Why would an eclipse be any different? Just staring at the sun. Um, and uh, Flash, yes, Corey got LASIK eye surgery. How long ago was your surgery? Oh, God. A year, a little more a than a year. year. Yeah, like spring of last year. If you go back on the old Oh the Anthem episodes, you can see that there was a, a cover photo of Corey with like three pairs of sunglasses on at one he time. Like Doc Ock. Yeah, he was looking like Doc Ock. That was when he got it. Um, so I think that maybe uh, he's having a little few problems. He was hoping that if he stared directly at the sun during the eclipse, it would help. Uh, you know, laser out the edges. Yeah, yeah, just like a smoothing, a smoothing effect on the yeah. retina. Um, how, how did it work out? Did it, did it seem to work out? I mean, I think that everything feels right. I don't know if it <laughs> looks right, but it feels right. Corey came out of the eclipse looking like Fetty Wap, unfortunately. So, uh, wait, here's a question. Do you know who Fetty Wap is? I've heard the name. Do you know why that joke's funny? Does he wear white eye contacts to make up for the fact that he doesn't have any discernible talent or ability? No. No, he does not. Uh, he's a very talented... By the way, everybody, that's uh, Corey saying Fetty Wap has no talent. So if you know Fetty Wap, pass that okay, on. Okay, Google. Play Fetty Wap. Yo, no, we can't do that. That's definitely not going to be okay. All right, play Fetty Wap. Hang on, hang on. Sorry, hang on, guys. I got to turn it down or else we're going to get a copyright strike. I'm going to get a copyright strike on my Facebook page. Um... Hi, Terry. Yes, we love you, too. I hope it's entertaining for everybody who's watching. Corey's trying to get my uh, Facebook Live video thrown off of Facebook and trying to get me to not be able to make live videos anymore. Uh, anyway. Yeah, he, so he does know who Fetty Wap is. But, yeah. So, Fetty Wap has, uh, like, a milky eye. Ah. And everybody makes a joke of, like, 1738 is actually his eyeglass prescription. Um, he did the song 1738. Okay. So anyway, guys, uh, thank you so for... Is that what we're calling what he does? Songs? Yes. Yes, he raps. Don't, He's a don't rapper people songs. traditionally have to be musicians to make songs? Yeah, yeah. And doesn't music require talents? This is what I deal with literally every day. Every day of my life is just the same. I mean, I'm stuck in some weird Groundhog Day where it never changes. But time keeps passing by, and we've been here for 10 months. Who would have thought? Um... Hey okay, Kenny, yeah, uh, do, 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 do. yes, uh, I have a Twitch account now. Uh, Corey and I have been talking about getting a PS2. Uh, we might get that to start playing PS4. on PS4. 
<laughs> How old am I? Uh, PS4. We might get a PS4 to start playing on Twitch. So if you guys are on Twitch, uh, add me. Uh, Twitch.tv forward slash Robert and Cheek. Of course, make sure you're following Twitch.tv forward slash Dirty Shore UG because Kenny's on there all the time. Uh, I'd like to, I love to go and watch him, so you guys don't want to miss that. Uh, it's super fun just to, like watch him do his little adventures and listen to him talking trash to people, so uh, don't miss that. And of course, if we do get one, we'll probably have the live stream of the podcast up there as well. So it's a, just another place where you can catch the live podcast. But uh, I'm going to get off here because I was hoping to get this whole video done before Corey got back, and he's back, and he's interrupting this beautiful message that I had for you guys. So uh, anyway... Uh, have a great night, everybody. I hope that uh, you're enjoying your Tuesday. We're halfway through the week. I almost blew into my, like, uh, Tuesday is a good Tuesday thing from last year. Uh, but anyway, uh, have a great night, everybody. We're going to, I think we're going to go see... Ingrid Goes West. Ingrid Goes West. So we'll let you guys know. Uh, make sure you check out next week's podcast for The Eclipse and Live in Broke Life. And anger goes west. And whatever the fuck Trump said tonight. Whatever the fuck Trump's gonna do for the next few days. So don't want to miss out on that. Uh, so we'll see you on Saturday. I'm sure I'll have a live stream before then because that's just what I seem to be doing lately. So join me. Uh, make sure you have those notifications turned on so you see every time that I go live, you can come in and join. And as you see, I take comments and questions from the uh, live stream itself. So you don't want to miss out on that. But thank you guys for joining me. I will see you next time. Take care, everybody.